spills. One's an acid, one's a base. I've got a 4% uh, concentrated sodium hydroxide and a 4% concentrated hydrochloric acid. At this point in time actually uh, I really don't know which one is which and that's one of the advantages to Trivorex is that it will be able to demonstrate to you which is which. So what I'm going to do is pour out both chemicals onto this tray and I'm going to pour out the other one. Now I'm going to take my Trivorex and just quickly go over top of each one. You'll see this one turning pink, which tells us automatically that it's an acidic. I'm going to go over top of the other, which tells us automatically that we know it's a base. So I know this is my hydrochloric acid and I know this is my sodium hydroxide. So what we'll do is we'll start to move that substance around for the cleanup. Same with the acid, just keep them separated for now. You can see that the pH indicator has gone from the pink color back to the original color of the Trivorex. That's the neutralization process that's happening there. And it's indicate, indicated that it's gone from a hazardous to a non-hazardous chemical. So, the other advantage, of course, is that on the surface, you can see that Trivorex provides an incredible advantage in regards to keeping the surface underneath the spill very dry. So the other advantage, of course, is that now that we've declassified the chemical, I can pick that up and move it around in my hand and without any harm being done to myself, including the other chemical as well. Perfectly safe to use, suppresses the vapor rapidly, keeps the surface dry, and declassifies from a hazard to a non-hazard very quickly. Well, that was awesome. Thank you so much for doing that great demonstration. I know I learned a ton. You're very welcome. So if you have any questions,